everyone, it's Kim Redding with Y Denton, and I'm at Rose Costumes, and I'm here with Kaylee and also with Daniel. Thank you both for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Of course, and this is a cool interview and our cool chairs and just such a wonderful place that I can't, we don't even have enough time to tell their story, but I want to share a little glimpse into what they do and a little bit more of who they are. So if you don't mind telling us a little bit about Rose Costume and also how long y'all have been here. Sure. Um, so Rose Costumes, predominantly what we do is we focus on uh, theater. So uh, high school, middle school, college, and professional theater. Um, all year round is what keeps us busy. As a matter of fact, Kaylee here is our show manager, so she's yeah. the one who <laughs> keeps tabs on everything that we do on a day-to-day -day basis when it comes to any kind of a show or theater program that's happening at the end of any given time. Right. <laughs> do you want to add to that? <laughs> <laughs> you pretty much covered it. Um, yeah, so that is our bread and butter is theater. Um, that's the best part of our of our day too is uh, having we has uh, we have actors come in from schools or theater programs to try on costumes in the store right and it's it's amazing to watch kids um, just get into character right. as soon as they put this costume on I love it. <laughs> and well, yeah. yeah I mean the, I've been here five years and it just it never a dull moment every single time just well, and magic I, that's what I was gonna say is I noticed, and when I brought my kids here, that's how it was. It was an experience yes. instead of just, I was like, oh, we're going <laughs> to run here real quick. It ended up being an hour or so, and it was an experience. Mm -hmm. So it was amazing. So I looked at, he showed me the whiteboard in the back room. Yes. And that is usually <laughs> filled with production. Mm -hmm. So how does that go? Does that, that last, like, you have a lot of them during the school year, or, or is that your busy time? Yes, our busy time is definitely from August to May when school is in session, and so there's fall shows, which usually start in October or November, and then there's always the spring musicals. Okay. So in January to March, sometimes even May, and then one act play season is show yeah. season for us, and that is our crazy delightful chaos time. Right. <laughs> and that's between January to May, okay. when uh, all the schools in Texas are competing in the one act play competition and they all rent costumes from us. So, I mean, I think we've had upwards of 140 schools renting at a time and it can be anywhere from five costumes to 25 costumes wow. for a one act. And it's, it's a lot to keep track of. Right. But it's incredible and yeah, that's so a much small fun. Board for yeah, that's like you're going to have so much more. But that's, <laughs> what, I, that's what I didn't know about because I was thinking Halloween and that was your busiest time. But now looking at it and learning more, mm -hmm. it's just very interesting. And also to learn that um, all you do for the community as well. Mm -hmm. So I was going to ask if you'd talk a little bit about what you've done for the community as well as during making the mask for the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Y'all did mm -hmm. that and y'all gave them out for free. Correct. So if you don't mind um, explaining a little more. Sure. Yeah. When the uh, pandemic started and the mask mandate uh, was put in place, one of the things that the owner, Anne-Marie, has suggested mm -hmm. that we do is uh, the Mask Makers Initiative, mm -hmm. which is where we used our our talents and our skills to be able to create costumes. Instead, we used it to make masks. So we made upwards of, what was it? We've uh, donated about 15,000 masks oh <laughs> to uh, different places and different organizations. Um, lots of, uh, you know, Assisted living centers, for example, really needed them and really needed something that they could reuse, especially for their, um, their, uh, everybody's being housed there. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, because you're living in close quarters. Right. So it's super important to have that protection. And um, then there's, you know, we gave a lot to the Navajo Nation as well when we read that it was, um, that it was really bad right. there. And, um, then Owen, Texas Oncology was a really special place oh. to donate all of those to. Right. Um, and that's been, oh gosh, um, well over a thousand to them. Mm -hmm. And we got a really incredible um, thank you note from, uh, her name's, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. That's okay. Well, her, <laughs> her name is Sue. Uh -huh. And um, she wrote the most beautiful thank you note um, for Project Mask Makers um, about you know, all the patients who come in and are choosing masks and how it brightens their days and, you know, um, people choosing masks for their partners who are having, who are uh, getting treatment. Right. And we had, oh my gosh, well over a hundred volunteers just in the community wow. who um, were making these masks for us too. And we started making mask making kits. So we'd cut out all oh. the materials yeah. and we'd say, you guys come pick these up. 
they make 10 masks each and we'd have people come in and pick up kits and bring them back. And we had a couple of volunteers who would get like 10 kits each oh and, yeah. <laughs> you know, just give us hundreds of masks back. And it was so, it was incredible to see um, the way that people mobilized to take care of each other in that way. Well, and I've, I've, we've learned that dur during these videos and stuff of how people were stepping up and how companies and, and small businesses were. And that's one of the reasons why we do this. Right. Um, the other question I had for you, um, and I was just thinking about it, is how long y'all have been established? Rose's costume has been in this facility for a while, but just mm -hmm. in general, because you are a big staple in this community. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we've been around for about 45 years. Mm -hmm. uh, we just had, was it March was our mm -hmm. 45th birthday? Yep. <laughs> um, in this location, we've been here for about 15 years, right. um, which is enough time for us to you know decorate. I love it. Um, but uh, it started off as a small secondhand store, mm -hmm. and Judy decided one day to start renting a lot of the vintage clothing that she had and it just grew from there she decided to start renting costumes full time right. and uh instead of being called secondhand rose she changed it to rose costumes ah okay and <laughs> under Anne marie's leadership we've really focused mostly on doing uh theater uh -huh. <laughs> so instead of focusing mostly on halloween which right. is you know it was great while it lasted uh -huh. Theater is what really got us through some hard times. Right. Um, and it's also been a really great way for us to grow as a company. Right. Uh, you know, gaining a lot more business that way. And, oh, absolutely. And certainly broadening our, our collection of costumes. <laughs> I love it. And that's, it's just been amazing. It's such a fantastic store. <laughs> so, um, and that's where I want you to come see it. It is an experience. And Daniel has been here for 10 years. Kaylee has been here for five. Mm -hmm. And so my next question is why Denton? Why did y'all choose to be here? Um, I actually initially moved up here uh, to get married. Mm -hmm. I had met my uh, then wife right. uh, oof, back when I was still going to college, and I ended up moving up here, and we started a life together. Um, so that's why I moved to Denton. But I, okay. it, after I was divorced, I ended up wanting to stay because I love this town so uh, much. I love that. It, I love that it's it's a small town, but it's got that big town feel to it. There's Absolutely. always something you can do on a day any day to day basis. Agreed. I agree with that. Mm. That's awesome. And then what about you? I came here after I graduated um, after I graduated college with my bachelor's. Mm -hmm. uh, right after that, I moved in with my dad mm -hmm. to have a place to stay, and he was going to move to Florida, and I was not going to move to Florida. Yeah. I uh, came out here to live with some friends. I got a job at Rose Costumes, and I really fell in love with the town after that. This was the first oh, Denton okay. staple that I was introduced yeah. to. Um, and it was a really great way to be introduced to the staple part of the town by working at it. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Denton is just, it's such a fun, lively place with so many different kinds of people. Right. And, um, and I just, it, the square is the most charming place and all of the local businesses just give, it, give Denton so much flavor. All the people give Denton so much flavor, and it's a community that really cares about each other too. Yeah. So I think that's really I, I special. Like that. And I think that the way you described that was really nice. I, I <laughs> thank you. Amazing. Um, okay, so it, when they come here, how do they find you? When do you reopen everything, or online okay. if they need to? Mm -hmm. May I? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, sweet. So, <laughs> um, right now, plan is reopen in September, same time as Broadway, okay. and in the meantime. We could definitely, definitely, definitely use the business to our online store. It's rosecostumes.com. You can buy costumes online. You can buy gift cards online for when we do reopen. Okay. You're going to want it for the Halloween costumes, please. Okay. And you can also buy uh, only in Denton coloring books, okay. which we sell online. Okay. And those were made by um, Tiffany Fitzsimmons and her art students from Geyer High School. They made them for us to sell so that we could stay open, which is incredible. And yeah. They're so cool and so cute. And if you love Denton, you need one. So buy online, rosecostumes.com. Okay. We do curbside pickup and shipping. We also have a documentary on our website made by Timothy Stevens with Spectrograph Films. That's amazing, where you can learn a little more about the history of Rose Costumes. Okay. And, and a phone number. If they want yes, 940-566-1917. Or you can email us at info at rosecostumes.com. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us, your time. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Thank you. Just learning more about Rose Costume and the history of it. So please actually check out their website with the um, coloring books and everything else that they have to offer or just give them a call. Their knowledge is incredible. So <laughs> thank you for watching Why Denton. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Kaylee. Thank you Thank so you. much. <laughs> I appreciate your time and I hope you all have a great day.